Welcome to How to Play Captain's Log, Crisis Detected. Each player is acting as an admiral commanding a fleet of ships holding valuable cargo. Players take turns resolving threats on their fleet while trying to sabotage their opponents. The goal is to destroy opposing player ships through crisis cards while protecting their own ships with crew and command cards along with strategic trades. The game ends when one player has all their ships destroyed. The player with the highest combined cargo value wins. To set up the game, distribute five ships and cargo cards of matching color to each player. Players set their cargo cards, value side face down, in an order of their choosing without revealing to other players. Players place a ship card on top of each cargo card with the ship side facing up. Shuffle the main deck cards. Deal five cards to each player. Place the main deck in a spot available to all players and reserve a place for a discard pile. Determine the player to go first by who traveled the furthest today. Otherwise, randomly. How to play. Players take turns in a clockwise order. The active player may take any number of the following actions in any order. Crisis cards. Crisis cards are vital to destroying opposing player ships, so pay close attention to this part. To play a crisis card, place it directly above an opponent's ship. A ship may only have one crisis card attached to it at a time. Therefore, you cannot play a crisis card on a ship that already has a crisis on it. You may only play one crisis card per turn, unless otherwise noted. Crew cards. Crew cards are placed on ships to resolve crisis cards. They are your lifeline and should probably be treated with great care. To play, place any number of crew cards below any ship. A ship does not need to have a crisis on it to play a crew card. Each ship may have any number of crew cards. Once placed, crew may not be moved to different ships. To use crew cards to resolve a crisis card on a ship, you remove the specific crew from the ship indicated by the crisis card resolve text. You may choose any of the options listed on the resolve text. The crisis and removed crew are placed in the discard pile. Any unused crew remains on the ship. Command cards. Command cards are unique cards with specific rules text. These can be the most challenging cards to decide when to play. Choose your moment wisely. To play, follow the rules text on the card. Note that these cards bend the rules of the game, allowing you to do unique actions. For example, Deflect allows any player to play in response to specific actions, even when it's not their turn. Trades. Trades are used to negotiate with other players. To trade, you may request to trade with one or more players. Players may discuss terms for the trade, but a trade must be for an equal number of cards. For example, one card for one card, or two for two, and so on. Players may also refuse to trade. To execute the trade, players pass the agreed number of cards face down to the other player. Players do not need to pass the cards that were discussed. Wait, what? This allows players to sabotage each other. Do you make a good trade hoping for an ally later? Or do you sabotage your opponents with hopes of destruction? Discarding Entire Hand Discarding your entire hand is a strategic move to help find the right cards you need. Hear us out. No one wants to discard their entire hand as a turn, but sometimes it is necessary. You may discard your entire hand if you have not played a card on that turn. You may still resolve crisis cards using crew already on ships as well as trade with other players. By discarding your hand, you will be able to get new cards at the end of your turn. End of turn. After you complete all of your actions, your turn ends. Any of your ships with crisis cards still attached are now destroyed. Sad days. Flip over the affected ship to the destroyed side. The cargo card remains under the ship face down and is not revealed. Discard the crisis card and any crew cards that were attached to that now destroyed ship. A destroyed ship may not have any cards played on it. The cargo under the destroyed ships will not count towards your final score. Your turn ends by drawing cards from the main deck until you have five cards in hand. If there are no cards in the main deck, shuffle the discard pile back into the deck. Play moves to the next player in clockwise order. End of game. The game ends when a single player's entire fleet is destroyed. Everyone else will score points for cargo attached to their ships that are not destroyed. 
Players will flip over their undestroyed cargo and total up the points. The player with the highest sum of points is the winner. If multiple players have the same cargo value, the player with the most remaining ships wins the tie. If there is still a tie, the player with the most crew cards attached to their ships wins the tie. And that's it! Will you blast off and command your fleet of ships to victory, or are you destined to see your ships destroyed? Find out by playing Captain's Log, Crisis Detected.